What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the PlayStation Plus uh, price increase that's kind of quietly been going on in the background. Sony has not said a lot about it, but this will be happening here very soon this month in September. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Uh, the PlayStation Plus increase will be across all of the different options you have. So PlayStation Plus Essential will be $20 more per year. PlayStation Plus Extra, which gives you, of course, all the extra games from PS4 and PS5, will be $35 extra a year. And PlayStation Plus Premium, which gives you that retro game catalog, will actually go up to $40 more a year. So the current prices, if we look at what we're at right now, uh, PS Plus Essential is 59, uh, PS Plus Extra is 99, and the PS Plus Premium Plan is 119. On September the 6th, the prices will increase to PS Plus Essential will be 79, PS Plus Extra will be 134.99, and the PS Plus Premium uh, package will be 159.99. Now, of course, a lot of people are saying or kind of talking about it's still cheaper than that $16.99 a month you pay for the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Although, uh, I'm not really sure if a lot of people will feel like the PlayStation Premium and Extra give you enough to really justify. Yes, uh, you know, Xbox Game Pass is $17 a month, almost $203 a year for that Ultimate Game Pass. But at the same time, I think a lot of people feel like the Game Pass gives you better games if you like some of the Microsoft exclusives and if they're actually good games. Now, we all can argue that some of Microsoft's exclusives have not been that good over the years. And really, the biggest game they've had recently uh, in the last couple years, in my opinion, of course, is going to be Starfield, which just, which just released. And that is free, of course, with that Plus subscription. But I'm not really sure if that still justifies you know, the price increase for PlayStation considering it's not like we're getting a lot of play, uh, PlayStation exclusives day one if you have some of these. Now, they may have some plan in the future to start adding more stuff to the extra and premium plan, but just for the essential plan, that's what I use. Just enough to, you know, to play online, that kind of thing. Get your free PlayStation games every month. $79 a year. 80 bucks, you know, you're looking at 79.99 after tax, you're going to be paying a bit over 80 depending on where you live in the world. Uh, here where I live in the US is probably going to, you know, quite 4 or 5 dollars extra on that tax. Some other places it may be a lot more than that depending on how much your tax is. And I think this is going to kind of upset some people, but then of course the argument's been Netflix, Amazon, Prime, Hulu, Disney Plus, all that stuff has gone up over the years. And of course, this is not the first time we've seen a PlayStation uh, increase in price when it comes to the different packages they have for playing online. So overall, un unfortunately, we're all going to have a price increase, whether we like it or not, uh, like it or not, on the sixth of September. I'm hoping Sony is going to announce something, you know, very soon in the near future talking about what exactly is going to be coming to these plans to justify that price increase especially with that plus and premium or that plus extra and plus premium package because those are getting pretty expensive once again they're not quite to the price of the xbox game pass ultimate but a lot of people's argument would be that the xbox game pass ultimate has better games and better features and better stuff just in general than the playstation plus extra or the playstation plus premium leave me a comment with your thoughts let me know what you think about this price in, uh, price increase are you going to kind of just be like most of us and say oh well it is what it is everything goes up or are you going to be one of those people that maybe decide to purchase you an xbox or if you have one start playing more on xbox and just kind of do away with your playstation plus because i'm sure there's some people out there that may not play enough to keep that playstation plus monthly subscription or yearly subscription active with these price increases they don't see the justification of it for how much they play of course leave me a comment with your thoughts and i'll catch you all next time